In this short video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the most of ChatGPT as a personal trainer, a fitness instructor, or anybody else along those lines. So one of the most time consuming tasks that you have as a PT is coming up with workout routines. So what you can do is tell ChatGPT your client's exact requirements and ChatGPT will generate a workout routine in about 30 seconds exactly made to your client's preferences. So. For example, I'll tell ChatGPT to come up with a push-pull legs workout routine for a beginner. You don't need to do that. You can do a five-day split, you can do a six-day split, including cardio, or you can suggest something entirely different. And ChatGPT will listen to your inquiry, and then it will create a workout routine based on uh, whatever you say in the little box down here. So, as you can see, in the time of me talking to you for about 10-15 seconds, it's already come up with a workout routine. And let's just suppose that what ChatGPT has uh, suggested to me uh, is something that I'm looking for and I actually want to use it. So what I can do next is just tell ChatGPT to put it in a table, which I can then copy and paste and transfer over to a spreadsheet and just use it as I see fit. That way you don't need to copy across the workout routine from ChatGPT to a spreadsheet and customize it, edit it, format it, all those things. It saves you a ton of time and it's absolutely brilliant. So as you can see, uh, it's already generating uh, the routine and it's put in the table. You can format the table in a few different ways. Um, it just depends on uh, what you tell ChatGPT to do. So I just thought it to put in the table and to just format it in the most basic and simple way possible. And let's say that you don't like the table that it's generated. After that, I'm going to uh, tell it to regenerate it in a different table and see what it uh, comes up with. As you can see, this table looks a whole lot better. We have the day, we have the exercise, we have the sets, we have the reps. Now, if you're working with a complete beginner in the gym, chances are they don't know anything about rest time. So we're going to tell ChatGPT to come up with a recommended rest time for each set. As you can see, ChatGPT is now taking the initiative and it's making the table include the recommended rest time. Of course, if you don't agree with the rest that is recommended by ChatGPT, all you can do is just tell it to change the 90 second rest uh, for bench press, rolls, and plank to 120 seconds, for example, and it's just that easy. All you have to do is literally tell ChatGPT what to do and it will do it. And if it doesn't, try again until it does. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please do go ahead and leave a like down below. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below and uh, I'll see you next time.